There are many interesting types of boxes, different species, color mutations, and more. The cross box is one of the coolest of them all. Cross boxes are red foxes of the Volpez genus that have a partially melanistic color morph. The melanin causes the red fox to have a stripe of dark fur down its back and across its shoulders. This against their red and orange fur has earned them the name cross fox. Cross foxes are a fox that stand out to most people. Its beautiful, unusual colors make us marvel at them. We put together these facts that you probably didn't know about this mysterious creature, the cross fox. At one point, scientists thought that the cross fox was its own species, but it was later found out that they were red foxes that had a mutation. Cross foxes are red foxes with a color morph. The cross fox is one of the coolest looking foxes. What many people may not know is that they are actually a red fox with a partial melanin color variation, or color morph. Red foxes have multiple color morphs. A cross fox is created when a red fox morph mates with a silver fox morph, and sometimes two silver foxes can also produce a cross fox. They all fall under the red fox species. What is melanin? Melanin is a color mutation that happens in the skin that makes the skin and hair a dark color. Cross foxes have partial melanin, where some of the black dark pigments meet the usual lighter colors. Silver foxes are also melanistic and have more of the mutation than the cross fox does, making them almost completely black with very little colors. Albinoism is the opposite of melanin, where the skin and hair do not have any dark pigments. Melanin is a mutation that exists in many animals and species, even human beings. Where do cross foxes live? Cross foxes live mainly in North America, in the northern regions such as Canada. Many cross foxes live in Canada and around 30% of the red fox populations have the cross fox mutation. At one time there were cross foxes in the northern United States, such as in Utah, but it is believed that the fur trade wiped them out of those areas. They have also been seen in parts of Europe such as Scandinavia and Finland. Cross fox habitats and behavior. Cross foxes have pretty much the same behaviors as the common red fox. Since cross foxes live primarily in northern regions, they are no strangers to snow and cold conditions. They dig dens to have their kits and they sleep mostly outside in wooded areas. Cross fox habitats consist of a den with multiple openings and sometimes even multiple dens spread across its home range. They are preyed on by bears, large raptor birds, and other animals that live in the northern territories, although it is mainly the babies that are preyed on by the large raptor birds like eagles. Cross boxes that are in urban areas are a little rare, but there have been photographs of cross boxes crossing roads and venturing out just outside of town. Are cross boxes rare? Believe it or not, cross boxes really are not that rare. They make up for around 25% of all red fox variations in North America. Their pelts were at one time more sought after by trappers and fur farms when it was thought that they were a different species than a red fox variation. In Europe, there is a smaller amount of red foxes with the cross fox variation, and in Finland, a study of 3,000 pelts found that only a tiny percentage of non-red variation foxes had the cross fox mutation. Cross Fox Description The cross fox has the same body of a red fox, although some have claimed that they are slightly bigger. They have a mixture of red and dark colored fur, as well as some white fur. They have a little bit more fur under their feet so that they can walk on snow and ice in the northern climates, similar to arctic foxes. There is more than one type of cross fox morph, which differs from the genetics of the cross fox's parents. The dark color goes down their back and to the tail, and sometimes across the shoulders, which is where they get the name cross fox. The red and orange colors come through in patches. Cross fox tail. The tail on the cross fox is slightly more bushy than a common red fox variation. They are usually black with some orange or silver guard hairs showing through. The tail of the cross fox can be a medley of black, orange, and white. Most cross foxes have a white tipped tail called a tag just like most red foxes and silver foxes. There can be some different color variations with the tail, as well as with some unusual coloring. Cross foxes use their tail for communication, much like other foxes. 
They signal to other foxes with different signs, such as to be alert, or that they have buried food nearby. Cross fox morphs and variations. The standard cross fox is a mix of black, orange, and white. However, there are some other variations of the cross fox morph. There is the standard common cross fox, the gold cross fox, and a silver cross fox. The standard cross fox has a slightly lighter color variation than the other two morphs, with a lighter silver and black coat along with a lighter orange. The gold cross fox variation is darker than the standard or common cross fox. The orange is golden orange or even fire red. These are rarer than the standard cross fox. The silver cross fox variation has a completely black body with orange around the ears and the cheeks. This is the rarest of all three. There are also other cross fox variations caused by recessive mutations. Cross fox baby. Since there is a smaller percentage of cross fox mutations, cross fox babies are rarer than common red fox ones in the wild. The common cross fox is created when a red fox mates with a silver fox. It is believed that cross foxes have a similar gestation period as the red fox, which is around 49 to 58 days. They are usually born a light black color or brown. Cross fox babies are just like any other red fox. They are fed by their parents until they can fend for themselves. They are then taught to forage and how to hunt after they are able to venture outside of the den. Conclusion the cross fox has been somewhat misunderstood for a very long time. It is easy to see why they have become victims of fur farms and trappers. Their fur was once worn by holy men and priests and designated as an item of importance. Cross foxes may not be as rare as some people think. However, they do possess a unique color morph that inspires the imagination. It doesn't take much for me to get excited about foxes, but every time I see one of these beautiful foxes, I can't help but feel like nature has its very own paintbrush that makes everything on this planet unique. To quote an anonymous source, the fox changes his fur, but not his habits. If you found this video interesting, consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. Also, be sure to check out allthingsfoxes.com for more fox information and awesome fox merch such as coffee cups, shirts, and hoodies. Until next time. All things foxes.